Michel Rolf Trouillot was born in Haiti in 1949 into an intellectual family. His father, Ernest Trouillot, had a passion for history, and his uncle, Enoch Trouillot, was an influential Haitian historian and the director of the Haitian National Archives for many years. Escaping Duvalier's dictatorship in 1968, Trouillot left his island and came to New York City. He published Tidife Boule sous Histoire Haïti, the first non-fiction book about the Asian Revolution written in Asian Creole. After getting a BA in Caribbean History and Culture from City University, New York, he entered graduate school to study anthropology at the Johns Hopkins University, where he obtained his PhD in 1985. His dissertation, Peasants and Capital, Dominica in the World Economy, was the first scholarly study on this region of the world. In this Marxist analysis, underlining the importance of peasants in post-colonial Caribbean societies, he debunked all the prejudices conveyed by Western powers. Focusing on the concepts of state, nation, and political economy, Trio returned then to analyzing Asian civil society in a groundbreaking effort to understand it and question Duvalier's conception of state. Trio went back to Johns Hopkins in 1987 and became the founding director of the Institute for Global Studies in Culture, Power and History. At this time, he explicitly criticized the postmodern turn in anthropology. In his essay, Anthropology and the Savage Slot, Trio examines the origins and the conditions of possibility of anthropology in a world where the West perspective seemed to rule. Challenging some of his peers to question widespread narratives of globalization, he aimed to rethink the concept of culture and emphasized the importance of the fieldwork method. After publishing one of his major works, Silencing the Past, Trio entered the faculty at University of Chicago in 1988 and resumed his study of the concept of culture. Adieu Culture, A New Duty Arises, exposed Trio's ideas about the way anthropology forced people as cultures into holistic representations. Indisputably recognized as a brilliant anthropologist, he is awarded with the Franz Fanon Lifetime Achievement Award in 2011 for the originality of his interrogations in the human sciences, especially anthropology and history. Trio prematurely passed away the 5th of July 2012. Craig Beckett from the University of Chicago praised his former professor. He opened new frontiers in the study of the Caribbean, but his impact extends far beyond the region. His work has significantly transformed our understanding of the role of power in the modern world. Written in three languages, Trio's works, as well as the presentations and lectures he gave, have marked all the people he worked with. His transformative presence has considerably influenced anthropology and intellectual work. Thank you.